All right, good morning, everyone. I've got a short video today, an interesting one, I think. Um, it's going to uh, help you find the volume and surface area of things that you create in Autodesk. So here I've created a, a basic shape. It's a cylinder from Autodesk. This is actually the exact dimensions of one of the ones from the worksheet we've done. Um, and so this is a good way to check your answers and or if you don't know how to uh, find the surface area and volume of something and you need to, you can create a model of it in Autodesk and then you can find out uh, using Autodesk what that is. So it's easy to do really. All you do is you're right here and you need the browser and the browser is this thing right over here on the left hand side of the screen. If you don't have the browser, you just go to uh, the view tab right here. You click user interface and then you just check the browser box and it should pop up right there. All right, now, if you wanna find the volume and surface area, what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the part one. So at the very top of the browser, that part one, you're going to right click on it. And let's see if I can get mine to work. Uh, it's a little bit tricky. Okay, there we go. And you're gonna right click on it and you're gonna to go to I properties right here. This I properties in this window will pop up. I believe it's also possible to get to it from going right here. I property. Yeah, you can go right there to I properties and you're going to go to physical properties right here. And then you're going to click update. If this is empty or it's uh, it's a zero or something, you need to click update right here on this button. And then you should see it right there. And so you can see our area. They don't say surface area. They just say area is uh, 904.8 if I round and the volume is 210.6. That is matching the answers from that we were getting yesterday on the worksheet. So that's great. So there you go, you got your area and you got your volume. Easy way to calculate things if you just build that part uh, and then do it. All right, so I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna go over to part two. Now, if you look at part two, you can see part one, it's big, um, it's kind of round. It's relatively like the, the uh, diameter and the height are somewhat close to even. Uh, and thus, let's see, our volume is larger than our area by about a two to one ratio, right? We have 2,000 to 900. So, you know, it's a little bit more than a two to one ratio of volume to surface area, right? But, uh, sorry about that. So if I go over here to my other one, this is a much thinner, uh, narrower square right here. Uh, it's gonna have more sides. It's, it's thin, so it has a small volume, but yet it has these big, uh, wide you know, panels on the top and bottom where there's a lot of, of surface area contained. So I'm guessing, if I look right here, and I go to I properties, and I go to physical, and I update them, that in this case, look at this, the area is actually bigger than the volume by about a two to one ratio, right? So the area is 180, the volume is about 80. So again, it's a little bit bigger than two, but it's approximately a two to one ratio. So I wanna play with this and I wanna investigate this and I wanna have a competition to see who can create the largest ratio of, area, of volume to area and who can create the smallest ratio of volume to area, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So if you wanna do that, I created a uh, Google Sheet that will help us keep track of this and do it. And we're gonna go over here to our internet, and if you go to the uh, Google Classroom right here, and then you click on the uh, link that you need, you go to right here, okay. So here it is, so I'm gonna put my name in there, Mr. A, Mr. A. There we go. Okay, so volume big. So this is where I want that large volume to surface area ratio. So I kind of put these hints in there, like put a big volume in here and put a small surface area in here. So let's see. So my big volume and small surface area, that was part one right here. So I'm going to go get those eye properties right here. And I'm going to go to physical and uh, there they are. They're still there. So now make sure not to copy the units, just copy the number. So I'm going to copy my area. Control C, okay. I'll go back to my internet and then I'll paste that into my surface area, the Control V. Then I'll go back and I'll copy my volume, Control C, 
and I'll go back here and I'll paste that into my volume. And there you can see, okay, my ratio is 2.2. So that's my large ratio. And then I can just fill in the shape right here was a cylinder, okay? Then I'm gonna go over here for my small volume, but large surface area. So let's go back to Inventor and close the eye properties for this one. And we'll load them up for this one right here. Uh, properties and we'll do physical okay again I'm gonna copy the area first and then the volume you could go in the opposite order if you want so let's see area right there oops uh, I uh, messed it up I apologize let's go back and copy that again and we'll go back here we'll paste it in again and then we'll go back and we will copy our volume control C and we will paste our volume in there. Control V, and now you can see the ratio is about 0.43, right? So I have a small ratio and a large ratio right there. Now I know you guys can probably beat this. Second period was getting small ratios below 0.1 and large, I forget what their maximum was for the large ratio, but they were getting big ones and small ones. Shape right here is a rectangular Prism. All right, so there we go. That's what we're gonna do. This will keep track of it and we can see what the maximum and what the minimum is so far. That's how you do it. Uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.